Brian Latimer, good day yesterday, 15 pounds, 2 ounces, a better day today, sir. You know it, baby. I love it. 18 pounds, 10 ounces, B lat to 35th. Looking like a Saturday. Yeah, man, it was good fishing out there today. I had a good time yesterday, but I, I left the weigh-in feeling kind of sad about myself because, you know, I really thought 15 pounds would be okay, um, and it was not okay. I'm about to get something to eat and kind of chill for a minute because we uh, I'm tired. It was really hot today. We didn't have any wind, and I was about to melt out there, good buddy. I'll try this out, see what it's like. Anybody else ain't here yet? You ain't here yet? No. No, y'all ain't done any of this? I'm about to see what it's like. They got pina coladas. I might have to get a pina. Oh, you can't drink a pina colada on YouTube, right? I'm not sure if it's a virgin one or not, but I'm getting one for sure. This is not your normal hamburger. That's a Puerto Rican hamburger. It's really good. Going back to the day of fishing. It was really fun. Having two tournaments in a row where stuff is just working. Y'all don't get to see it that much, but a lot of these tournaments, keep in mind these tournament vlogs are edited. And you don't, let me, you don't get to see like how much we struggle and don't catch fish throughout the day. Like you can look at my hand. I mean, yes, they're ashy, but it just comes from catching so many fish this week. Sorry. You just catch so many fish. During the week, I really need Cam with me. You catch so many fish during the week that your hands are just raw at the end of the day. And every day I ended up catching my fish pretty much on something that I didn't catch them on the day before. The first day I started out with a drop shot, and then the second day I caught them on a square bill, and it was good fishing. This is really good. Golly, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. I knew it was possible to uh, to get in the cut, but I, you know, you're always hopeful, but you're not really sure how that thing's gonna work out. Today I weighed 1812, I think it was. Weigh-in is still going on over there, but it looks like I'm gonna land somewhere in the 30s. I went from 74 to uh, somewhere probably in the 30s. Right now I'm like. 22nd but there's like 50 more people to weigh in so if I had to guess I'll probably end up somewhere in the uh, in the low 20s to 30s by the time weigh-ins over with now there's one thing that I'm sure you guys are gonna see in my tournament vlog once I get all this edited and out I had a fish gut hook today and this is what I did right here mm -hmm. that one helps Dude, I caught, this would be the fourth over three on this point. I don't know, I don't even know what's special about it. I just, I just kind of wasn't hitting it. Oh no, I think he swallowed it. No. I cut the line and I poured some uh, like a sugary beverage on, on top of it. I poured Mountain Dew on top of it. And I want to tell you why I did that, what's going on, why you should make sure you keep some type of sugary soda in your boat at all times. You're from the north, keep you a pop in there, all right? Keep you a pop in your boat. The whole reason I did that, that fish was bleeding. When I hooked him, got him in the boat, I looked in my mouth to get the hook out, and it was bleeding. And most of the time when we lose a fish in the live well, he's probably bleeding. When you gut, gut hook one in the throat, get one to get like a treble hook in his gills, the number one reason they die is because basically they bleed out. And you put them in the live well, they bleed out, and you go look in there when, when it's way in time and he's dead. I'm gonna tell you what I like to do, and I haven't had a dead fish penalty in quite some time. I don't know how long, but I lost a BFL years ago 
by one ounce because I had a dead fish. Back then it was eight ounces per dead fish and I lost a BFL by one ounce over a dead fish penalty. Should have had another BFL win, but I didn't. So this is what you want to do. If you get a, a fish that's gut hooked, if you get a fish that's bleeding in your boat or if he's got it in his gill, this is what you want to do. Make sure you keep your a Mountain Dew, a Pepsi or something in your boat, first of all. What I did is I cut that hook off as soon as I saw that he was bleeding, just cut it off. What that's going to do is you don't want to keep water in the hole wherever you've punctured that fish's artery, or I guess fish have arteries, or wherever he's bleeding, you don't want any more pressure on that. Imagine if you had something in you and I got a piece of line on it and I'm moving it, moving it around, jerk. cut it off. First thing you need to do is cut it off so you, you, you take the pressure off wherever you've punctured that fish at. Take that off, uh, cut the line off. Wherever he's bleeding at, wherever he's punctured at, go ahead and take your soda, open it up, pour it on there. What that does, what the sugar in that soda does, is it coagulates the blood, stops him from bleeding. So when you put him in the live well, it stops the bleeding and you don't have to worry about that fish. It has less chance, I'm not gonna say you don't have to worry about it, you got less chance of that fish dying. This is the procedure that I like to follow anytime I gut hook a fish, and this is really my belief when you're fishing, period, anyway. I see guys, I, I see co-anglers all the time, gut hook one like that, put him in the live well. Every two minutes, you're checking on him. You're checking on him, checking on him, checking on him, checking on him. Don't check on him, Robert. You don't have any, you can't give the fish aspirin, Benadryl. Uh, you don't have, you can't give him an oxygen mask. Do everything you can do as soon as you know that fish is bleeding. The only thing that you have, only options you have, cut the hook off or get it out if you can without abusing the fish too much. Pour your additive, whether that be, you know, you can, some people use like G-Juice or please release me, put that on wherever he's bleeding to stop the bleeding. Put him in the live well as quick as possible. Put your additive in your live well, close the live well, put your pumps on manual, leave him alone. Don't open the live well again, don't check on him every five minutes, because what are you gonna do? You don't have any options to check on him. Get back to fishing and get to work. So don't keep checking on him. Man, I think that fish is gonna die. Boy, I hope he's all right. There's nothing you can do about it at that point. You do everything you can do the moment you lay, lay your hands on that fish. Take care of everything you can do. Close your live wheels. Every time you open that live wheel, you're doing nothing but stressing that fish out. The light in there, that live wheel is dark for a reason. Keeps the fish calm so he's not moving around. Secondly, every time you open the live well, especially in 95 degree heat like what I had today, you're just letting heat in that live well. Letting heat in the live well. Turn your aerators on manual. Put your, your live well additive in, in, uh, in your tank. Recirculate, close those live wells off. Don't touch your live well until you catch another fish and it's time to cull. If he's looking a little janky when it's time to cull, get him out of there. That is what the, the live well procedure needs to look like anytime you've got a fish hook. But I know it's gonna come up in my tournament vlog. Why did you pour the Mountain Dew on him? Why did you do that? Did you hurt him? No, it doesn't hurt him. It stops the bleeding. The sugar in the soda stops the bleeding, keeps the fish from bleeding out. That way you can weigh the fish in. So yeah, that was it. That was, uh, my day two was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fish catches today. Some good fish catches. I hooped, I hollered. You saw how it went down. So I just got a few rods to get tied up tonight. Uh, talk to my boys and get ready for day three. You guys know that all year long, Carl's Bait and Tackle and Mystery Tackle Box has sponsored all my tournament vlogs. Well, Father's Day is coming up and they're doing some special campaigns just for the fathers for Father's Day. They're having a 50% off or buy one, get one on special items on the website. So make sure you check the links in the description box of this video so you guys can go to the website, get something for your pops, and save in the process. By the way, they're also, if you want to get your dad a Mr. Tackle Box, get him a subscription for Father's Day. They're also doing 20% off on the Mystery Tackle Box subscriptions for Father's Day. And, there's, and on top of that, you know you can use my discount code, this BLAT20, all right? So go check that out for Father's Day. And uh, let's go get into the tournament vlog now. Man, I can't, I can't express um, how happy I am with this tournament's turned out so far. 
because uh, Gunnersville is one of those lakes that's always been really hard for me to, uh, I've had some good tournaments here, but man, I had some bombs. And when I saw it on the schedule, this was definitely one of the ones that uh, I was like, ugh. I don't really notice any difference in the weather or anything today. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be more windy, less windy. Hey, it honestly probably doesn't even matter because we're going to go fishing anyway. Thirty-eight. Right. 30. 2.30 today? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Gunner Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. They didn't say I couldn't touch your water. <laughs> say what now? They didn't say I couldn't touch your water. Oh, you, man, I, I just want to catch some fish. I, I, I don't care what you do. That's a guy yesterday was asking me, he asked me, can you use the bathroom? I said, man, what, I, what I'm going to do tell you? No, you can't use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's none of my business what you do. Gonna be close. Look very, you know, when he's laying down. Yeah, I know. Better when they when they jump, they look a lot bigger. Yeah. I got a two something. Like that. And that eelgrass, heavy. He got, he was never getting off. Matter of fact, I might have to put him in the live wheel with the jerk bait in his mouth. He was never coming off.
has an injury as soon as you bring it through that grass they in it now so like when you when you bring it through it like you you expecting to get hung up in it and you're like well it's going a different way That's a good one. He hit it right at the boat. He hit it right at the boat. I was pulling it out of the water. I mean, it's skinny, but you know, it get, I got a couple that's real small. Uh, I could tell he was skinny. I don't think he wanted it. He was just like, he was like, man, that thing, let me go ahead and hit it. I ain't seen nothing all day. what you get when you don't crowd somebody I guess I don't know if you'll help or not but I think the one in there is still tiny tiny yeah, I don't even know where he come from it's just I was pulling it out of the water and I could see him I could see the fish yeah following it I was like dang I have no idea where he come from. Something happened. <clears throat> I don't know if they stopped pulling water or what because the, all this eel floating eel, eel grass and stuff was not out here. Yeah, it must it must have did something. It must not pull it. This is this is eel grass was not floating out here like this. Oh, oh taffy. He's coming straight at me. He's gonna come here and then act stupid. It's a good one. I knew he was gonna do that. I'll help a little bit. Mm, maybe not though. Actually, it wouldn't disappoint me if he didn't. Now that more I look at it. How many times have we done surf on that same patch of eel grass? It can happen so fast. You can be sitting here poor lipping and then all of a sudden you catch a five and a seven or something like that and you're right there again. Just 10. Oh, 
hope that he helps. Or they do some fighting down here, I know that. I know that's hot, buddy. If you just, I know that's hot. I don't help either. It's fish still here on this little place. They just, that's what they are. Yeah. And these need two big ones. I got what I had yesterday, but just two big ones, minus the two big ones. Big one, big one this time. I think he, uh, he might help. Nah, he, mouth come up so big, you think they're giants. You see how old big he opened his mouth when he yeah. jumped? He looked like he was doing three pounds. He jumped, and, I mean, literally his mouth was wide open when he jumped. I was like, oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Guess you have to put me in the Iconella category by the end of the day over. <laughs> <laughs> I really did. I mean, I set the hook and it just locked. I thought it was a good one. <laughs> I really did. All I got to go by is the end of that rod tip bowing out like that right there. Yeah, it's just small. Yeah. My grandma was that good one. I've never caught so many fish on a worm on the outside of the head. <laughs> it, how does that happen? Yeah, it works. A lot of people don't cast a drop shot around like this. It might actually help. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so, but we'll try. He's 209. I don't think I got a 209. Let me see. Four. Four. I need to check. Four, five, six. That's a pretty decent one. Yeah, I think that's a pretty decent one there. Yeah, he's fat and juicy. I think he is anyway. It looks like it, if nothing else. He's almost three pounds. 212 for number six. So those three units. What did I just take off? Take away number four. I didn't, I still used the bunch. I caught a bunch on drop shot yesterday. They just didn't keep.
it's gonna be close. Look here, you know, when he's laying down. Yeah, I know it's better when they when they jump, they look a lot bigger. Yeah. I got a two something in there though. So two four is the smallest. He's two two. He's two two. Two four is your small one. Yeah. Okay. Look at that eelgrass, heavy. Yeah, knee oil. Something like that. Mm -hmm. I've used this. Uh, I don't know if I caught one because of it or not. <laughs> all your plastic companies use it to so the plastics don't stick together. That oil that you fill on your plastics, that's the knee oil. Right. They used to be a company a long time ago. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, that's a bigger one for real. If it's a bass, that's a big one. If it's a bass, yeah. I don't know if it's a bass just yet. Yeah, it's bass. Yeah, that's, that's a bass. Nice. That's a nice one. Don't jump again. Don't jump again. Yeah, I needed that one. I need that one. <laughs> I needed that one. Look at that, that's a fat one. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Four more of them, That's a four and a half pounder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many times have we done circling on that same patch of eelgrass? Uh -huh. I've been circling it for an hour and a half. Right. Yeah, he's circling yeah. Yeah, God, he circled us, ain't it? <laughs> Won't he just go like. I mean, I know it's not my lake. I, I understand that. I shouldn't be it. <laughs> I, I don't look at it that way. And I mean, I don't even I mind him watching, mind but, him. but I just can't believe he would just come up and just keep fishing right around you like that. You come up to the mug, I'll be as far from him as you. All right. Yeah, they like a. You know, good luck. <laughs> and then I'm gone. And that was a good one. For a good one to cull up a little bit, is eh. Who knows if that's gonna be good or not. You just never know in Gunnersville. It's been Ooh, it was a hot one today. I think we still had a good day. Man, we caught a lot of fish today. Caught them steady pretty much most of the day. I had about two hours where I didn't really catch much. But other than that, um, just a normal day of fishing here in Guntersville. Caught a few uh, on jerk bait today. Have not tied on a jerk bait all week. Ended up catching them on that this morning. And then a uh, drop shot. I, I haven't had a tournament where you catch quite this many fish in, in a long time. Champion. Brian Latimer from Belton, South Carolina. Know, my man. Good to see you. Yes, man. You give me some you. love on the live show. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know what I'm Biggest about, part baby. of our brand, for sure. That's good <laughs> stuff, man. Love this guy, man. 15 2 on day one was a great start out of the gates, but 18 10 yesterday got him into the top 50 cut. He's got a five bass on it today. 15 pounds, four ounces, B lat. Well. in 11th place. 15 pounds? 15 pounds. I'll take it. 15 I, four? Yeah, yeah. It, man, this has been the last two tournaments. It's just been good fishing for me. You know, sure. a lot of these tournaments, I, I talked about it at Pickway. We come to these places and do fishing is just really not that good. But the last two tournaments, as you can see, yep. 
It's been really good Absolutely. fishing. Absolutely. Yeah. Gunnersville is a place we fished a bunch. I came up through the ranks through BFLs and through yep. the Ever Starts and Coasters Love and it. you know the tour. Sure. And so we've been here a bunch of times because that was always one of the, the lakes in the rotation. Absolutely. Uh, on the Southeastern Division. So I've been here a bunch of times and I've had some good tournaments and had some real bad ones <laughs> here, but you know, it was a good week this time. I'm looking forward to getting to the James and then Champlain. Who don't like Champlain? Absolutely. Come on, baby. Exactly. So I'm ready for the last two tournaments of the year. Let's go, man. Ride it all the way right to the on. top. Thank you. Love it, man. B-Land. Great job. Yes, Great week. Thank you, man. You got the mojo. Good luck, man. We'll see y'all. See Thank you for marshalling, too, man. Yes, I appreciate it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. 14. Absolutely. I, I enjoyed fishing with you today. There you go. Hey y'all, so uh, I ended up finishing the tournament with 15 pounds, four ounces. Yikes, Bobby just weighed 22. But, um, dang, 22 pounds, I forgot what I was about to say. Anyway, finishing up this tournament with 15 pounds, four ounces, don't know where that's gonna put me at just yet, but I didn't even think I had the 15.4, so I'm excited about that part of it. First day we started out with the drop shot. Second day we caught them all on square bill, and then today I got the day started with a uh, with the jerk bait. But I think I, I think all my weight fish, except for maybe one or two, was on a um, on drop shot again today. Great day of fishing. This has been a fun tournament. I, I haven't had a tournament where you catch quite this many fish in, in a long time. Yeah, we're going to the James, Yeah, yeah, I like the James. I've been there twice. Yep. Uh, that's my style of fishing.